Good day. My name is Laksh Bell. This is a quick update on the sell token short squeeze that is going on right now. As you're aware, a few days ago, I made a couple of videos very quickly, one after another. The first one was to inform you that whales who are on our side are going to have some action that particular day. And as predicted, within a few hours, they drained FTX off of their sell tokens by the millions. At one point of time, when I made the second video, FTX was down to 1.2 million sell tokens. Well, the purpose of that was twofold. First, to see if FTX had any reserves, which we got to see. FTX did bring out some reserves that we did not have any idea about before the last squeeze happened. Now we do know about them, and today is another such day. We are going to push it one more time. I've been told, I've been informed that this time they're going to drain the FTX even more harshly than they did the last time. As always, when that happens, you can see some VIX, you can expect to see some VIX. But this may not be the ultimate conclusion of the sell token short squeeze just yet. We may have to wait a few days or a few weeks before we see the really long VIX. I was recently made aware of a position of one particular, now this is a very small sample size, but I got to know the position of one short seller. This short seller had shorted about a million sell tokens, but his liquidation position or his liquidation price is $4.20. Unfortunately, that was on the perp market, but you should understand that the perpetuities market is a derivative of the stock market, of the spot market, I should say. The stock market is also a spot market, and the derivatives market is generally much larger, or at least has the potential to be much larger than the core market. So let's say I have an arm wrestling competition with my brother, and we bet $10 each, and winner takes the $20 home, right? So the winner gets to receive $10 from the loser. Well, in that arm wrestling match, the core competition or the core disagreement is $10. But you could have a derivative where people would be betting, maybe you and your friend would be betting against each other, and uh, you would be betting on me, and your friend is betting on your brother, and you bet $1,000 on that. And that would be the derivative bet. A derivative market is much larger, or at least has the potential to be much larger than the spot market or the core disagreement. Uh, Mark Mayer, who is a great friend of mine, I interviewed him recently, he always says that stock market and other spot markets are places where people go to disagree with each other. So what we can expect in the next few hours is that uh, we can have some VIX because we also have some people from the Wall Street bets forum, at least the crypto-oriented people from Wall Street Bets also participating in the sell token short squeeze. The setup is great, as always. Again, Celsius continues to drain FTX and other exchanges every week or every few days. We don't know when. They never predict it. Uh, they never say when or they never, there's no way to predict when they'll do this. But every few days, they go out and buy millions of sell tokens, at least a million sell tokens off of the exchanges. Hopefully next time, or the one that follows, when Celsius buys, they drain out the markets and exchanges completely, and liquidations begin to start. Short squeeze is the ultimate good position because short sellers are forced to join in because they have to close their positions. Either that, or they get liquidated, or they go broke. Now, I also, want to make, uh, I also wanted to make a second video, a separate video about what is possible with this, uh, sell token short squeeze, but instead of making a separate video, I'm going to just add that to a second section of this video. So what happens if you invest just a thousand dollars, let's say, one thousand dollars into sell token right now? Now, please keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. You should not be betting your rent money, your mortgage money, your car payments, your school payments, your kid pay kids' payments, your food money, or whatever on this. This is a high-risk play, and I'm not your financial advisor. I cannot tell you what is right for you or wrong for you because I don't know your financial situation. With that said, if you buy, there's a lot of ifs, by the way, if you buy $1,000 worth of sell tokens for, let's say, 75 cents, that should give you 1,333 sell tokens right now with a thousand dollars and let's say this thousand dollars is just one percent of your portfolio 
you have a $100,000 portfolio, okay? That's the size of your portfolio right now. You bet just 1% of your portfolio on the sell token short squeeze, and for 75 cents, you buy 1,333 sell tokens. If the short squeeze succeeds, now again, there is an if involved here. This is a high risk play, of course, which is why 1% or half a percent or one fourth of a percent of your portfolio should be sufficient. Having said that, if sell token gets to $100, those 1,333 sell tokens are now worth $133,000. So if you place your order on one inch and it gets filled 100% at $100, you would end up with $133,000. This effectively more than doubles your entire portfolio. So instead of uh, $100,000, you bet $1,000, right? So $100,000, $100,000, you bet 1K, which becomes potentially, potentially becomes um, 133,000. Or maybe it doesn't work and you're only left with 99,000. Like I said, you have to consider the worst case scenario, but you also have to consider the best case scenario. And in this case, the best case scenario is that you end up walking home with $133,000 within the next few weeks on a 100,000, dollar portfolio with just a 1% risk. So the risk to reward ratio here is really disproportional. Your risk is really small, but the reward can be really large, which is why we say go nuts. Do not sell any of your sell tokens for less than $100 because the short sellers will be forced to buy them back. The current numbers can be seen on the screen. And let me just quickly go to sellsqueeze.com. Let's see the numbers there. So once again, I am or my team is responsible for the design and hosting of sellsqueeze.com, but we are not updating the numbers. Community volunteers are doing that, and we are really grateful for them for having expended so much effort on this. The total supply across exchanges is, at, as of right now, 6.98 million, or as of the most recent update, 6.98 million sell tokens, of which FTX has over 4 million. And remember, whales are now going to drain within the next few hours in a coordinated uh, draining effect or squeezing effect uh, all at once, mostly from FTX. The total shorts on FTX are 17.3 million. Even the spot shorts alone on FTX are 6.45 million. Some might call it naked trading or naked short selling. Uh, I'm not sure that's the case here, but we will have evidence of that if that is the case. But spot shorts alone are 6.45 million and uh, that was also one of the reasons why liquidity was brought back to FTX so that, and, and the interest was dropped to 35% uh, per year or at, as of right now, 100% per year. The interest was dropped so that, well, shorts get confident again and short the price down. You and I get to buy some tokens. I just actually, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to put in my last and final order because that's the, that's the end of the dry powder I have with my allocation on the sell token short squeeze. So um, the idea was to drop the price, get the shorts confident again, get the shorts up to 6.57 million in spot market again, and then drain it again in a coordinated, um, let's say, withdrawal process amongst several whales. If you haven't already, turn on your earn in sell within the app. This is what you can do. If you have the Celsius app and you have the ability to earn and sell, I'll go ahead and do that now. If you haven't already, drain any and all sell tokens that you have on FTX off of the exchange. Now we've seen several instances where sell token trading, the spot market was halted for hours, sometimes two hours or longer by FTX. I warned everyone about this a month ago. I told you FTX would pull shenanigans and that is exactly what happened. So, uh, on the perpetuities market, at least 8.65 million have a short interest and shorts are paying uh, roughly 2,000% per annum to the longs, which is again uh, in line with what we expected here because a lot of liquidity was brought back to FTX so that the shorts get confident, the price goes down, you and I have the opportunity to buy, which I'm going to take advantage of now. And uh, yeah, 
we can go on and participate in the cell token short squeeze. But I want to tell you that this is not the end of it, okay? I have to bring something else to your attention. You have to understand, we are here, uh, you have to understand, actually let me just draw another diagram here, okay? Uh, so this is a bear market, we all know that, right? But markets have cycles, right? And so this is how a market goes, right? And this is a bear, that's a bull. We are somewhere over here right now in the current cycle. This is where we are. By the time the sell token short squeeze is over, we would probably be here. So Bitcoin would probably be or potentially be under $15,000. So with the $133,000 in this hypothetical example, you can potentially get nine Bitcoin, which in the next cycle might take two to three years, maybe four years, goes to $200,000 each. And you do the math on that, $1.8 million is a definite possibility. Now there are several ifs involved. If you buy now, if you don't risk so much that you get wrecked, if you keep your position small enough, if the sell token short squeeze succeeds, which based on numbers, it is highly likely that it will succeed. We have already seen shenanigans from not just FTX, but also all the other fear, uncertainty, and doubt peddlers, fudsters, comebacks, as I like to call them. We've already seen that. And yesterday, actually, we had someone who said, oh, whoever is responsible for the sellsqueeze.com website will probably go to prison. And I said, I'm responsible for it. My team is responsible for it. Talk to me. Tell me. Go in, don't go into hiding now. Talk to me. Tell me why I would go to prison for just compiling or actually uh, putting together a platform where the community can compile publicly available information in an easy to access manner. And of course, this gentleman goes on to block me. Uh, it's too bad because he was one of the people that I actually respected and followed on Twitter. So uh, you never know, right? So these fudsters have deep pockets again. You have to understand these guys have deep pockets and uh, yeah, we don't, uh, none of us do. We are just humble investors trying to uh, do the right thing here, punish the shorts, help Celsius and make a buck while we're at it. At the end of the day, I also want to remind you that Celsius has been constantly posting proof. Actually, there's on-chain proof and there are other people who have been talking about it on Twitter nonstop. You should follow Ron Paul and Cryptosexual if you want to uh, see updates on this uh, regularly. But they have been posting collateral or uh, posting capital uh, constantly. Celsius have been posting capital constantly uh, to release their loans or close out their loan positions. And that does not look like an insolvent company to me. In the last video that I did right here, uh, I talked about they might be illiquid and traditional finance models might even rank them as insolvent because their assets might be smaller than their equity, uh, than their liability, leading to negative equity. But that is only because the traditional financial models don't take into account that's, um, that crypto markets basically crash 80, 90, 95, 99% every bear market and then go up by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 X during the bull market. So as I was saying, if you just invested in Bitcoin, you might get nine Bitcoin. You might end up with 1.8 million in the next uh, bull run. This is just a hypothetical scenario. Ethereum does even better than Bitcoin every cycle. So if you are able to buy Ethereum at let's say $700 each, we might get there again, maybe a thousand dollars, I don't know. You might end up with let's say 150 to 200 Ethereum, which if they go to 10,000, each, again, is between 1.5 to $2 million. Might be even more for Ethereum, but I'm not here to make price predictions just now. Uh, I just want to show you what is possible because right now we are in the middle of, or actually heading towards the depths of a bear market. We are not there yet. We are not quite there yet. At least I don't think we are. And um, you have this wonderful opportunity to take a small portion of your portfolio, risk a small portion of your portfolio with the sell token short squeeze, do good, then do well. As Team Celsius says, Alex Mashinsky says, um, you are, uh, and you can do really well with the sell token short squeeze and then use that money to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. And in the next cycle, basically come out extremely, extremely wealthy 
by just risking 1% or even fractions of a percent uh, for the sell token short squeeze. So even if you're not a Celsian or involved with Celsius in any way, you should consider the math on this. Um, it is moon math, yes, but we have seen such things happen in the crypto space before. And uh, while we haven't seen the equivalent of a short squeeze before in the crypto space, this is completely new. Um, we have seen things like this happen, play out, and fundamentally there is no reason why this cannot happen. So that's it from me, that's an update. And I really wanted you to focus on this, that betting only 1% of your portfolio can potentially uh, double your portfolio within a month, and then within the next cycle, uh, get you to 10 to 20 times your portfolio. And there's a lot of maybes and ifs involved. So this is, of course, a risky play, high risk, high reward play. But I am all for risking 1% to gain 2,000%, aren't you? I would risk 1% all day long if it had a solid chance of making me 2,000%. It's just simple uh, um, uh, risk reward analysis. It's just bet sizing. I keep saying, don't bet the farm. That is still very important. Don't bet the money that you don't have. Don't borrow money to put, the, put into this. But if you already have a portfolio, you should be comfortable, you might be comfortable risking 1%, half a percent, 2%, whatever of your portfolio on the sell token short squeeze. My name is Lakshbel. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.